extra years, okay, in the re-election. Now, I'll be darned if we let, uh, uh, what's his name, Donald Trump come up in here and be the president. If he president, all H-E double hockey sticks gonna break loose because this man ain't even got, we, we not gonna do nothing with him. But Barack Obama executed a, 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 a particular thing which led into the, per, um, I'm sorry, the death and the killing of Osama bin Laden. Now, this pretty much brought justice to different people that uh, was, had family that was killed and, and in the 9-11 issue. It's not an issue, but it's a problem. So Barack Obama was in office, and if you ask me, I think he had some, um, some people from you know, the hood in there with him you know, in office because you know, Barack Obama, he got people in Chicago, and you know, you know how them people's is in Chicago in the low end of Hyde Park and the Wild Hunters. You know, we call them the Wild Hunters because it's pretty wild over there. You know? But Barack Obama got a little connection. So, but the whole time it was just the Navy SEAL, he made this little thing and, he, and they went out and executed and they got the man, they came out there. But you know, I, another thing, I think he was in there with Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino was in there with Barack Obama, boy. Al Pacino be calling me on the cell phone, and he be telling me he was in there with Barack Obama. So I'm finna tell y'all how what he said. He said, look, President Barack Obama, I want you to go in there. You go get this man. His name is Osama Ben Laden, okay? I want you to go in there. Executes. I believe in you. I trust in you, Barack Obama. I know you can do it. You can do it. They want to play rough? They want to play rough over there? You can do it. You're going to get him. You can go get the man. Take his beard. Take everything he got. Don't leave nothing behind. Because to go in there, we're going to get him. I got your back, Barack Obama. Because Osama Bin Laden, he's dead today. We're going to get him. That's what he told me. That's what he said. So Barack Obama did something that President Clinton, President George W. Bush, <laughs> it's my man. I like to, uh, but he basically finished what they couldn't, you know, kind of like mm, messed up a little bit. They kind of messed this up, if you ask me. But Barack Obama came in that, went in that thing, and he... He got that thing together, he fixed it, and he, when he talked to the opportunity, he was like, yeah, you know what, Al? I got him. I'm going to go in there and get him. Send the stuff in. We finna get him. And then when you know what happened when they got him? He did this. We got him. And it was over with. And justice has been served. That's all I got for today's lesson in What's Cooking in the Kitchen. I'm Keith Dean. AKA Smacks, till next time. Welcome back to In Your House with Antoine Clemens. I'm sitting here with the Fire Chief of Gary, Indiana, Fire Chief Williamson, and also Marie Hodge. How are you doing today, you guys? Grateful to be here. Thank you for joining me in the living room today. Thanks, All Thank right, we're here to talk about you. a very special event. But before we start talking about the event, Ms. Hoff, can you tell us a little bit about your, about your background? Okay. I'm an 88-year-old lady, soon to be 89 in the next few days, All right. on the 26th. I've volunteered across the city of Gary for over 40 years. Cool. I've been in with housing, senior housing, transportation, you name it. I've been a part of it. And I get to know what's going on in the city, and I speak up and talk and fight for it. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, fire Chief Williamson? Yes. A little back background on you? Um, I, uh, I've been on the fire department for 32 years, working on 33. I was appointed fire chief uh, February 2nd, and I just uh, jumped into the fray and started trying to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day, this charming lady came to my office and sat down with an idea and I just watched her as she started to make it happen and it's really beginning to happen. All right. How long have you been a fire chief of the city? I've been, I've been fire chief since February 2nd. I was appointed by uh, Chief Clay. 
I mean, um, Mayor Clay. All right, cool. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get down to business. Let's start talking about the event here. It's called the Unity Dinner and Concert. Um, it's called at the Genesis Center. It will be held June 10th, 2011 at 6 p.m. Um, I see here you have uh, Diana Ross's do daughter will be there. Also, um, the music director of BET Sunday Best. You want to talk a little bit about this event? Yes. Sure. Uh, first, I'd like to tell you about a little poem I wrote as I sat down and thought about it. You know, young girls like me, their mind runs a lot, okay. you know. Tea was for the thought that came to me to plan an affair for the fire persons. Uh, I is for the, H is for the hope I have that our Gary citizens will support it and buy tickets to it. O is for the opportunity we have to meet the chief and other fire persons shake their hands, and exchange encouraging words with them. Use for the unity. We come together to show we care and appreciate them. G is for the good they do in very trying times that they are going through. T is for togetherness, though we might have to sacrifice to buy a ticket. It will bring a feeling of appreciation to our fire personnel. We care about them, and we hope and pray things will soon improve for them. They make great sacrifices each day, yet they answer our call. Join us on Friday night, June 10th at the Genesis Center. Tickets are $25 and $50. Food and entertainment, the greatest entertainment. We look for you and thank you for inviting us. All right, well all those great words that she have saying about you guys, uh, Fire Chief. They're great people. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Well, it's something that I, I really appreciate. Um, sometimes, most of the times when you're out fighting a fire and it's 10 below zero and it's 2.30 in the morning, you don't have many people out there that really, you know, seem to make a difference. I, I believe we appreciate it, but it's just a good feeling to know that somebody thought enough to uh, put the, put, you know, some feet on the ground and, and try to make something happen just to show their appreciation. She's well, appreciated. Well, Fire Chief, I know you guys are going through a lot with the Gary Fire Department, and if you want to talk about a little bit about the decisions that's been going on and things that this much needed decisions, you might say, with the Fire Department? Well, um, we had an outside agency come in and, and do an assessment mm -hmm. of the city of Gary, and, and they, had a, they made a determination that we could uh, operate uh, with, a, with 57 less firefighters um, than we had. I think now we are down to, uh, with, with, res with some resignations and, and some retirements, we're down to now a um, hundred and 98 firefighters and we come, we're coming from 259. Um, I disagree with, P, with the PFM. I disagree with them totally. I think we need all that we can get. I can break it down. I plan on going to the administration and talk to them about, you know, some adjustments that we can make. Um, in the meantime, I'm the type of person that believes in taking what I got and try to make it happen. I, the one thing I appreciate about these guys is that no matter when the tone hits or when you call, it doesn't matter if they fought 10 fires that day when the bell hits, they're coming. And I love them for that. I came from that. I'm with them. My heart is with them. And I'm here to try to do whatever I can to make it better for them. All right. Well, such a large demographic the city is as far as the um, length and with, you want to say, of the city of Gary. Um, I know we're down to, um, as you said, you, the numbers have decreased in firemen. Yes. Um, has the, um, the fatalities or the, uh, how, how, how can I say, the injuries increased since the laying off for the res resignations of these fire um, men? What people don't realize is that um, the more you work, the, the more fatigued you become. Mm -hmm. If you, um, and you work hard in a fire. Mm -hmm. And um, if you get one, you go back to your district, go back to your station, you get another one, you're not going to be quite as alert as you were for that first one. And as fatigue um, sets in and you begin to, you know, make um, 
mistakes. Uh, we had three firefighters that were injured in something that they, nothing they had any control over, but you know, the, the ceiling caved in on them. Something else that needs to be considered, quite frankly, is that after those injuries, we were already short. After those injuries and those guys were off duty, that left them even shorter for the next shift. That's something that PFM, who is the organization that did that assessment, didn't account for. Exactly. We still answer the bell. Mm -hmm. Well, our heart goes out to the fire department, yeah. and we definitely will support your event and definitely make sure that the people of the city of Gary in um, the surrounding areas that our show reaches to make sure that they come out for those events. So I definitely thank you. It's an honor to have you here and joining me in the living room today. And also, madam, I seen you on TV and I see what you're doing in the city. When you, when you walk through the door, say, like, ah, I know that lady. <laughs> so I thank you guys for joining me in the living room. We'll be right back with more In Your House with Antoine Clemens. can do for your family. Unfortunately, Fire Pro Wrestling, join me in the living room. Thank you guys for joining me in the living room. How, how you doing, Mr. Dallas? I'm doing all right. Richie? Yeah, I'm just shaking your hand. Um, but I know we had a glitch as far as in booking. Our talent producer brought you guys on the show, um, Danielle. You know, I'm going to deal with her after the show. But tell us a little bit about what's going on with Fire Pro right now. Well, right now we've got a show coming up on the 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all ages show. Family friendly. Okay. Tickets ten dollars for adults, eight for ch uh, children under five. Doors open at six thirty. Show starts at seven. Okay. You know we. Uh, you can also pick up uh, pre-sale tickets. I think it's eight dollars for adults and I want to say six for children under five at either mm -hmm. Creative Comics in cool. Griffith or um, the Muffler Shop in. Um, Hammond Mufflers out in Hammond. All right. So you have a show on the 21st coming up as well. Yeah. Now tell a little bit about what's going on that show. Well, that show, with that show, you guys are all in for a treat. Okay. Because you're going to get to see me mm. and the Punisher wipe the floor with the Fallen Angels, mm -hmm. Jinx and Dakota Prodigy. These guys are a joke. Mm -hmm. They're paper champions, and we're going to take them straps. Okay. We got a tag title match, and we're walking away with the gold. Mm -hmm. And Richie, you brought him on the show with you. Yeah, so, Richie, I guess I have to ask you, what, what, what are you doing for the show on the 21st? On the 21st? Yeah. Why do you concern yourself with what I do, Antoine? You ruined my night last month, so why should you care? I really don't care, Richie. That's the the thing, you know. I don't even know why you're sitting in my living room. Cause last time you came on my in, in on my show, you disrespected my nice table here, and then not only that, at the show on the on the sixteenth of last month, you put your hands on me. Matter of fact, I have that footage, and unfortunately for you, it didn't turn out well. So let's play that footage. Yeah, he's like, yeah. 